All right, WonderCon's going on sale. Three, two, one. And I want that, and that, and sold out. Son of a bitch, motherfucker. Welcome back to another episode of Vile Villain. I am your villainous host, Deadward. And I guess this is the uh, Easter episode? He is risen. So, of course, I'm wondering where... Where? Where, Lord, where? Where's our Jesus Christ Funko Pop? Just kidding. I don't care. Be kind of funny, though. I don't think Funko's even brave enough to touch that one. They need the Pop Deities line. You got God, Jesus, Buddha, Shiva, Zeus, Odin. So many possibilities. Satan? I mean, come on! I need a Pops Deities line. Anyway, I hope you're all well out there. I'm chilling here with my Dole Whip quarantine drink. It's so much better when you had rum. And not much has been going on out there in the world of Funko, of course. Except, uh, WonderCon. Yeah, WonderCon just happened. Or Funko Virtual Con 2.0. So I hope you all got on there and got what you wanted. I didn't. I got some things, don't get me wrong. I didn't get what I really wanted though. The two things that I really wanted were the Cheshire Cat in the teacup. That was pretty cool. I don't usually do Disney, but that was neat. My girlfriend really wanted it as well. I really wanted that goddamn Boba Fett. Gone. Just immediately gone. So disappointed. And the targets around here didn't have it either, so I don't know what the hell's up with that. But I did get some other things. I got one of all the Funko sodas, except for like the Scott Pilgrim, which I don't care. I got the Flocked Eevee and Pichu. And the other ones I just didn't care about, so I didn't get those. It's kind of weird. Some people were able to order two on the uh, advertisement from Funko. It said you could order two. I wasn't able to order two when I made my first go around, so I did a second go through. I tried to get more Funko soda cans, and I got a couple more, but I didn't get another Skeletor. I really wanted another Skeletor. It wasn't all that bad. I got something anyway. For not getting anything, I still spent like 200 bucks. Damn, that's good. Later on in this episode, I have an awesome Star Wars pop to show you. I have a Funko Shop exclusive as well, but first we're gonna venture outside the realm of Funko and look at an action figure that's not all that new, but it's badass and it's new for me. I just bought it the other day. I should say the other week because I've just been holding on to it. But it's new to me because I haven't opened it yet. It's Ash versus Evil Dead. For that arrogance, I shall see you dead. <laughs> Yeah. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my boomstick. The 12 gauge double barreled Remington, S Mart's top of the line. You can find this in the sporting goods department. That's right, this sweet baby was made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Retails for about $109.95. Got a walnut stock, cobalt blue steel, and a hair trigger. That's right. Shop smart. Shop S smart. You got that? Now I swear. The next one of you primates even touches me. Yeah! So if you haven't seen Evil Dead, or you haven't seen Evil Dead 2, which is kind of a remake of Evil Dead 1, or you haven't seen Army of Darkness, or the TV show, don't do it, Jesus. You are missing the hell out. Directed by Sam Raimi, and just badass. Let's open this up. Quick glimpse of uh, the inside box art. Here's the front of the box. You can uh, be a DJ in a rap band. Pictures from the back. Awesome picture. All right, this Ash, if you've seen Army of Darkness, you know what he looks like. Looking at the face, it looks like it is modeled after an older version 
of Bruce Campbell. He wore wrinkles in his face. Anyway, that's the stock one that comes on his body in the box. A couple of those look that way. A couple of these look like a younger Bruce Campbell too though. Multiple heads, one where he just looks pissed off and grumpy. Another head where he's gritting his teeth. Another one where he's yelling. And a fourth head where he looks kind of dumb. A little confused. He's wearing that iconic blue, maybe denim shirt. Sculpted straps that go around his chest. Connected to a holster for his boomstick. Boomstick included. His right hand has interchangeable parts. You have the chainsaw, the wooden hand, the mechanical hand, and kind of a stump. It also comes with a picture of his beloved car. Moving on down, he has big brown pants. When I say big brown pants, I mean big brown pants. It almost looks like he's wearing a large diaper in that area. I'm not sure why they made it like that, but uh, it looks really good. If he's just standing there, it looks better from behind than in the front. Is a black belt. Something weird with this is they obviously oiled some of the parts because uh, you can see kind of liquid in there. Once you start moving the leg around, it's wet. I'm assuming that's like mineral oil or something. I'm not custom seeing my action figures have uh, wet spots. Well sculpted wrinkled brown pants and brown boots to boot. Articulation at the knees, hips, waist, elbows, wrists, shoulders, and neck. He's pretty stiff. He doesn't move around a lot. His waist is almost non-existent when it comes to moving. Not much better on the hips either. Elbows and knees are only single jointed and there's just the ever so slight articulation in the ankle. So articulation wise, maybe not the best character, but who cares? It's Ash. I can't decide which hand I want to put on him. Uh, obviously most of the time it's going to be the chainsaw. But on occasion he may get that robot hand and he'll always be holding the boomstick. Mm -hmm. Ash from Ash vs Evil Dead, a NECA action figure. All right, next up is something I've been holding on to, and it was so cool. There were a whole bunch of new Star Wars pops that just came out at HQ right before they closed down. And I decided to only buy one. I'm like, oh, I'll come back for the others. Well, apparently not. So the very last thing that I bought at Funko HQ was Han Solo in Carbonite. Let's pop into it. I don't know about you, but I've been waiting a very long time for them to release this. You can never have enough Han Solo on Carbonite. Starting at the top. The very top, of course, is very smooth, just silver and flat. Moving down on the front, of course, you see wrinkles in the background of the Carbonite. You see Han Solo's wrinkled face, carbonized hair, streaks of that Carbonite coming off of his face. Further down, his hands are held up in that, oh shit, kind of pose. <laughs> Further on down, he's holding his hands up, trying to hold back that Carbonite. Obviously, that didn't work. Carbonized wrinkled shirt, carbonized wrinkled pants, and his toes inside his boots are sticking out of the bottom. The very back of this carbonite block is completely smooth like the top. On the side, you can see various electrical panels, and the same thing with the other side. And it's a bobblehead. Yeah, they even made this a bobblehead. Pretty cool. Although, part of their agreement with uh, Star Wars or Lucasfilm or whoever they get their license from is that all of their Star Wars figures are bobbleheads. You wouldn't think that it would have carried over to the Carbonite, but it's pretty cool that it did. And of course, being a Star Wars pop, it has that black stamp. So I gotta say, I really love this. I don't care for bronze pops, but this needs to be in bronze. You know, the bronze color with the uh, patina. That would look cool. But I'll take what I can get. Carbonized Han Solo. Han Solo and Carbonite. And since it's an Easter episode, I bring you the Easter version of the Pillsbury Doughboy. There find fun somewhere new. <laughs> Pillsbury Easter cookies with Peter Cottontail and chocolate chicks. Just slice, bake, and eat <laughs> before Easter hops away. Let's pop into it. Starting from the top. This Pillsbury Doughboy has that large 
fluffy chef's hat. White hat band with the Pillsbury logo right in the middle of the front. Large white head, puffy sculpted nose, big grin with sculpted cheeks, and some sort of clear whatever in his mouth. Large blue sculpted eyes. Louis Downey is a kerchief around his neck. Both arms held straight out. One is holding a pink egg. The other is holding a basket full of eggs. Large white belly, stubby white legs with no feet. I mean, what can I say? It's the Pillsbury Doughboy. It's white, it's plain, and he has Easter stuff on. But if you like ad icons and you like Easter, this is the pop for you. I like ad icons. Pillsbury Doughboy's all right. Really, I think I only need one, and I have like three or four now. As long as I have my Dole Whip, I'm good. Oh, and with those short little stubby, no feet feet, he comes with a stand, and it does not want to go in. Come on, take it. Take it all. She's stubborn. That's barely in. Just the tip is in. Funko Shop exclusive Easter version of the Pillsbury Doughboy. Thanks for watching. I hope you've all been well. And I hope you have a great holiday if you do this holiday. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've watched a couple and you like them, subscribe. What do you think of these guys? Do you like Ash? Do you like the Evil Dead? You better. How about the other two guys? Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends. Thanks for watching, and until next time, 